My name is Kain Chan, the Tech Pro, and in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to connect Nodes.js to MySQL database and fetch data, and that you can see right here. But today, I'm going to show you how to connect Node.js to PostgreSQL. So here is my PostgreSQL. I have uh, the default database here, and I have a table inside. Uh, I'm going to just open the schemas and go to these tables called Users. And I'm going to say view edit data and select all rows. You can see there are about three items or four items in this place. So how do we connect from node.js here to PostgreSQL and actually fetch and display the data on the screen on the console? So the first thing I'd like to do, let me create another file. I'm going to call it database dot database PG because we already have database. Yes. All right. So it's also very straightforward. So the first thing you want to do is to create a client. Sorry, there is, you need to initialize by saying npm init minus y. Yeah. So you need to initialize. Yeah. Perfect. I think it, yeah, I think it should be fine. And the next thing you want to do is to install the PG package by saying npm npm install install pg and that's the next thing you want to do i think i already did it but it's okay all right so once you take these two steps you now have to write the create the client so you have to create uh first import the client or require the client by saying client is equal to require uh require PG because that's the package you are going to be using to do the connection. So let's see const. Okay, so this is a little typo. And the next thing you want to do is to specify the connection parameter. So I'm going to say const. Again, please subscribe if you are just joining me for the first time. Uh, subscribe and also let me know if you have challenges. So I'm going to create a client that's going to be used for this connection. So I'm going to say client is equal to new client. So in this client, you want to specify the connection parameters. For instance, the host is going to be localhost, localhost. And we also need to specify the user. The default user is Postgres, Postgres, if I get it correctly. And we also need the default port. I didn't change the port, so the port should be 5432. I think that's the default. And the password. The password I use here should be um, root user. All right, and finally, you want to specify the database. So you're going to specify the database. The name of the database is the default one as well, Postgres, all right? Okay, so now you are going to say client.connect. So I'm going to say client.connect. So this, you are going to explicitly connect to the client. And the nice thing you want to do is to write your query. So I'm going to say client.query, and then uh, you're going to write the query. So I'm going to use backticks. Uh, I'm going to say select star from users, select star from users. And this query takes two parameters. Well, we've written the first one is a, is a string, and the second one is a callback uh, that's going to execute when the query returns. So I'm going to say it's going to take two parameters, uh, the result and also error, if error occurs. So it's going to take error if error occurs and also the result. And it's going to be an arrow function and we are now going to write what is going to happen. So let's start by saying if error occurs, we will just want to print out if error does not occur, so either way, so you can actually play around with this. If error does not occur, just print out the output res.rows, okay? Um, but if error occurs, so else, else, we are going to display the error message to the output. So I'm going to say console.log the error message, all right? Um, and finally, at the end, you are going to say clients.ends. Perfect. So at this point, we've connected to Postgres. So let's see if it all works. So I'm going to first say save everything. And the name of the, the, name of the file we are going to execute is database.pg. I like to clear my screen, so I'm going to right-click and say clear. That's fine. 
So I'm going to say uh, node database pj.js. All right, so you can see that we have our data return, exactly the same data we have here, kind son, saffron, Jude Miller, and Matt Mills. You can see the, th the data comes here. So I'm going to stop here. So I'm going to continue making this series, and I'm going to talk about how to insert data and how to actually delete data and update data. But for now, I want to take it bit by bit. So I'm going to stop here. Please subscribe. And also, if you have challenges, let me know. I remain kind on the tech pro, and I'm always there for you.